Okay guys, welcome to this video. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out something new, which is R-A-A-I-D. OpenAI Codex was a bust, it's complete trash. Let's test a different competitor. This is brand new, I haven't seen a single video about this. Let's talk about it. So this is R-A-A-I-D, R-A-A-I-D, let's call it. And the way this basically works is it's, you know, just your classic um, kind of Klein Ada style coding agent. However, I've heard good things about this. So it's got AI powered planning, smart research, autonomous coding, version control, custom commands, and it's extensible. Right now it's free. Uh, it's open source as well, which is amazing. It's very easy to use, pip install R-A-A-I-D, and then you configure it by setting, you know, whatever you want to configure and then you use it. Now, it did take me a little bit of time to set up on Linux. I'm using Linux just because I'm starting to get used to using containers just to keep everything um, nice and organized and also nice and safe. You don't have to, I think it does work on Windows, but yeah, I just decided to go with this option. Um, I had to do a couple of things to get it to work, but it is actually now working for me. Even running the prompt itself for this was quite difficult um, just because I'm inside this terminal. Um, I had to use Claude to write the prompt for me into another file and then run that file. So I want to see how to use um, Anthropic for this. I don't really want to use OpenAI. Um, it was basically trying to use OpenAI. Oh, there is also Google Gemini as well. That's cool. Uh, I think I'll just set a load of variables here and just see what happens. So we'll, we'll it says recommended here, Gemini. So we'll do that, right? So we'll go to my Docker instance, right? And we'll export a Gemini API key. This is looking pretty promising already because it's using Gemini. I thought it was just um, using OpenAI, but it's actually using Gemini. Now, if you want a little bit more help with this kind of stuff, or if you want the SOP from this video, by the way, definitely check out the school community. It'll be the first link in the description. People are absolutely loving it. It's not just bog standard. Here's a load of links, sort it out. It's written classes by me. I have a history uh, in teaching English, so I do know what I'm doing when creating a course, and I'm trying to put everything uh, like this video into this course. So we'll go to Google AI Studio here, and we'll create ourselves a new API key. Wrong one, Google AI Console. Oh no, it's the right one. Get API key here at the top. Create an API key. Uh, it's, I don't, how am I doing? Germany API. Okay, so I set my first uh, environment key. This says optional. I'll just leave this for now. If you want to use other providers, I do have API, I, I have Anthropic set, right? I wanna know how to use a specific code. Sorry, a specific LLM, I mean. Okay, so sh I should just be able to run this um, command right here, and this should start Raider. I'm not gonna go through the installation for this. It's kind of annoying, to be honest with you. But you can see here it's using Gemini, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted it to use. Um, and it's got all these different agents inside, right? So right now it's doing the research stage. Um, there is no um, my next app. It doesn't actually exist. I'm gonna put this on um, cowboy mode so that it can just start. I forgot to tell it that there is no Next.js project and it has to start scratch from scratch, but we'll see how this uh, this deals with that anyway. Okay, so the the kind of idea behind this benchmark is to see how well uh, this system deals with what I'm trying to build. What I'm trying to build is something that looks a little bit like this. Now, there won't be images. I didn't add images. I didn't do all of the previous steps that I was supposed to do. I'm actually just doing this because I want to know um, whether or not it can work out what I'm trying to ask it to do, even though it doesn't have all of the information. If it can, then it's a particularly good system, right? A lot of systems, even Klein and et cetera, would probably fail at this point right here. But I mean, this one has worked it out. It's now creating the folder that I asked it to create. Amazing. So this is actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. This is like Codex, but potentially actually good. This is using Gemini. 2.5 Pro, just so everyone's aware. So be warned of that. There is there is a cost to that, of course. So you can see here, it's now creating the images. Amazing. So it seems like it's splitting everything into different tasks. So this is the task to handle. I 
1.8n, which if you don't know is a uh, translation. And I'm actually pretty intrigued by this so far. I'm not going to lie, this is open source as well, which is very, very interesting. It looks like they have MCPs too, which is always good to know. So it looks like we can use fast MCP to actually introduce MCPs to the mix, which is nice. So it's a standalone coding, coding agent built on Langraph's agent-based task, task execution framework. It still provides an intelligent assistant that can help with research, planning, and implementation, multi-step development ideas. RAID can optionally integrate with ADA via the use ADA flow to leverage its specialized code editing capabilities. So that's pretty interesting. You can use ADA inside this as well. Now this seems to be going fairly quickly, to be honest with you. It's definitely not slow. Um, oh, okay. So we got hit by a quota uh, increase here. Is it going to retry? It looks like it will retry. Retry in one second. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Uh, am I using the wrong model? Or I might just try and increase my quota at some point. But it looks like it's doing a pretty good job so far. So it should be my project, right? Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is the um, project here. So we have the app. Messages. I've never seen that before on any model, any build. Okay, this is doing things slightly differently to how I'm used to. But we'll see how that looks. I'm going to give this some time, guys. This has a lot of promise so far. This seems to be doing a pretty damn good job. This is annoying that there's the limit here, but that's okay. I might try and increase that quickly. Oh, this is very annoying. So in order to get tier 2, um, which I'm actually pretty close to, uh, I need to spend $250 and at least 30 days since successful payment. I might just make a payment now, to be honest with you, because I want, I want this as soon as possible. Tier 2 is 2000 per minute. Wait, tier one is 1,000 per minute. Oh, that's flash. Wait, that's a new model. Oh, what the hell? There's a new model. I didn't realize. I will test this model out very, very soon on things like research. I'm probably not going to test it on coding, to be honest with you, but there is a new Gemini 2.5 model. Didn't even realize. So it looks like tier two has 1,000 per minute. This has 150 per minute. I really doubt I'm using 150 per minute. I'm not sure why. I'm getting rate limited. There's no way this uses more than 150 per minute. So this is really cool here. Look at this. It's left a little note here. This creates the highly numerous static pages for each service plus city combination. The component uses a helper function, render block for modularity. This can be extracted, blah, blah. It uses translations in service location page scope. Placeholder icons are noted. Build times might increase significantly due to the number of pages generated. Three times five cities times two locales equals 30 pages. This structure is designed for maximum SEO value per combination. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, this is looking like it might be a, um, you know, a cursor ripper, or an Ada ripper, possibly even Klein or Rue. This thing does seem pretty damn nice. I can imagine this with MCPs would be very, very interesting to test. I do not have time for that. I'm going away for the weekend this weekend you won't see any videos from me i'm hoping that opus doesn't drop while i'm away that would just be my luck um you probably won't see this video till friday actually because i'm probably gonna have to make a gemini 2.5 flash video after i finish recording this one but yeah this is splitting thing and splitting everything into tasks and subtasks which again i really like from Rue uh, code for example so this time it says set up a contact page implement metadata generation and create the basic page component with a placeholder contact form structure. So this is the next uh, and hopefully final step of this process. It looks like it's actually got a lot of code here, to be honest with you. Now it's doing home page and basic styling. This is something that most, um, most of these tools, they forget this part. They forget to actually change the home page. And they also forget to make sure that the home page automatically redirects from um, there being no language to it being slash en or slash it. That's something that a lot of these tools fail as well. So I'll be very interested to see if this tool can smash that basically.
Okay, so it's running next build already, which I wasn't expecting. Um, there's obviously going to be some mistakes. This happens all the time with um, TypeScript. Is there always TypeScript errors? Uh, seems to be doing a decent job. Um, there's definitely some problems. We'll see if it can fix these problems itself or not. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video here. I haven't actually managed to run the project, but it looks like it is a very, very good system. It's just the, the human interaction part of it isn't that great. So I haven't managed to actually fix what I was trying to do. Something basically went wrong and it didn't manage to actually fix its own problem. However, overall, I just by looking at the code, the code does look very, very good. It looks very, very detailed. And I honestly think this might be worth looking into. I will definitely be looking into this more when I'm back from uh, my weekend away. But for now, definitely one to check out, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on the way to the end of the video, you're not a legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.